We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, hi, welcome everybody. Blah, 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 blah. We're having a, we're having a podcast today. Blah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm in a mood because the weather's so weird. But welcome. Um, I am Ted Salas. At my side, as always, is the lovely and talented Padme1138. How are you, my love? Hey! 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 And uh, with us this week is our special guest. We haven't seen him in... Ah, it seems like a month of Sundays. I think it may actually be a month of Sundays. Uh, and it's on DJ Jacobus. How you doing, buddy? There I am. Yes, broadcasting live from Chateau Yacobus. That's it. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> yep, what does that mean? <laughs> Use some $5 word. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't that, isn't that uh, Castle de Jacobus or some yes. shit? I don't know. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, okay. I, you know, I am super slow on the uptake. More, more yeah. caffeine. More coffee. Everybody, more caffeine. Yep. <laughs> So it was another week in digital cards. Um, was it? Was it though? It's super boring. And it was another week, of, all right. I legit almost forgot to open the app one of the days this week. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't do that on Neon Mob, or you'll break your streak. Wow, I haven't been in Neon Mob in like six <laughs> months. Uh, well, I, I in uh, Facebook that like the last day or so, uh, a thing came up with uh zoe eating a uh, epic burger yeah. in 2014 which must be really soon after they opened up but I, i'm i'm looking at this and i'm like god 2014 there was no star wars car trader then <laughs> it's like hard to i look back and i'm like oh my yeah. god it's like a whole nother lifetime before you know before star wars car trader it's really strange to see that and think that we were alive then so. <laughs> it, it is funny because i've seen you're right i've seen stuff and i've been like Huh. Oh, we didn't even have Star Wars Card Trader back then. I wonder what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I don't know if you probably haven't had a chance to, to watch or listen to any of the uh, interview I did with uh, Woody yesterday. Uh, uh, no spoilers, but yes. It was fan-fucking-tastic, and I won't ruin anything, but it's, yep. it's uh, wow, riveting, really interesting, um, super smart guy. I mean, like, he just, like, man, I, I'll tell you, this, some of the words that come out of that guy's mouth, this, when he, when he, it makes me feel dumb and yet smarter when I talk to him. He, he he's, knows a lot of shit. And he's, hey, he's, been, he's been there every step of this digital card madness that we're, you know, still so in the thick of. It's crazy. Yep. Yep. And he's always been on the leading edge, which is, which is a really cool perspective. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And I mean, it, it's not like, I don't think it's through any like, you know, super planning on his part. You know, he's, he's admits himself that he was just kind of like right place, right time in a bunch of places. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's really, really an interesting thing. So I recommend anybody out there, check out the developer profile um, with Woody. Cause it's, it's amazing. And there's more to come and I'll talk about a little more on when we get into blockchain, mm -hmm. which is going to happen fast. Cause really all we got to talk about other than that is um, tarot cards um, they had a new promo. There's a promo. If you go into your menu where your profile and all that stuff is, there's a little promo yep. box. If you put in S T R I X, you get a free card for this movie mm -hmm. called Strix. Yep. So I don't know I did what that exactly yesterday. that is. If it's, it sounds like a cereal, a delicious cereal. <laughs> Strix, <laughs> Strix is for kids. Come on, silly wabbit. Get yep, out of here. With all the colors and. <laughs> So. I did that yesterday, and then I pulled the, and then there's two more that you can pull with coins. So I actually did that and, and didn't do Pandora's box, even though they're one in 35 at 10K. I got them both in like 400K. So that wasn't too bad. So yeah, I, I almost there. doubled odds on that. I was happy about that. Yeah, so. I, I, I did pull those out of those packs as well. And I went in oh, and cool. did some Pandora this morning just because I felt bad. I hadn't thrown the guy a buck in a few weeks. Um, so I, I threw him a buck and, and, and did a couple more. Uh, I did some Pandoras and, and completed another set. Oh, nice. I should, I should do some Pandoras because I haven't, I, I stopped after I was about halfway through with those, with the straight edge kegger and the girls just want to have blood. I was halfway <laughs> through with those and titles, man. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was so pissed at the odds. I, I did. I stopped and I hadn't thrown anything at Pandora in a while. 
Um, and I thought I'd just wait until they reset and then the next, whatever the next sets are, then I'll just jump back because he's changed. Now that he's changed the mechanic back to the way I was Some of them are still too. straggling. There's yep. the scenes for a couple of the things are still showing up um, big time. Like the girls that just want to have blood, those girls, and they just love that blood. Um, yeah. But um, the, pro, the there's a trailer for that Strix on um, on YouTube that you can watch, and it's it looks you know they're all it's a trailer they're gonna show their best shit, but it looks pretty cool and it's got kind of like this '70s type vibe to it. Um, it feels similar in some ways to that. Um, how, what was that Disco Exorcist um, with oh, the yeah. '70s vibe <laughs> and stuff like that? Well, um, but it, it looks cool and. Yeah. Um, Right after, I mean, it must have been while we were recording last week, he started a new wave of the Decay bass, mm -hmm. um, which was odd on a Saturday to start those off. Um, but we had, we've had we had a whole week to go at them. How many sets have you completed? I'm working on two, and, and that's only because I had to be at work all week this week. I would have done much better. So, in fact, I should probably pull one more time in the 9 o'clock hour before he shuts it down. Yeah, so, I think it'll land probably at 10. I would imagine, yeah. Yeah, good call there. So I think I'm with two. How many do you have? I've I've got like three, but I've got there's some I pulled the shitload of, and then there's others that I pulled like you know three of. Hmm. So it's really odd how that those that breaks down. Um, so like you know, uh, Doctor Whitney, I only have like three, and then it was the um, uh, the the asylum patient. You're doomed. <laughs> you're doomed it's that character that always tells everybody they're doomed yep um because that's what it looks like she's doing so i only had three of those but i i got some to swap around and so i'll you know see what i can't put together yeah I'm hopefully playing. i'll be able to even out it too that'd be nice yeah so my my uh, uh my horde is not one of the awards and she's not in there so i don't have to not yet too much about misty i think i think he's just going in order down the card sheet she's toward the bottom so you might have another couple of waves before yep. they get to that one yeah and he's not he's not like doing it like boom this one finishes and another one starts a little more sporadic yeah so it'll it'll pop up again and, and i'll get get back to it so that's fun and then uh neon mob i literally wrote snore um i'm doing barely <laughs> anything i'm still plugging away at the uh, the vintage vanity right. um, which yeah. is a monster and i'll probably never come close to finishing because there's so many fucking variants um, and then I'm still doing Heroes and Villains from Mythka. Um, that's, again, another monster. I think there's like 65 fucking variants in it. It looks cool, though. Those are some cool, cool looking cards in yeah, there. Yeah, they're very popular. Um, it's LE, so it's going to sell out before I ever get close to finishing the, um, the variants. I've, I've finished all the other, other stuff, so that's mm -hmm. fine. Our friend Brad, um, Vintage Kenwood, he's, he's really working hard on that. Um, Victorian vanity or whatever it is. Yeah, Victorian vanity is what he's he's, going, he's you know out in the Discord asking, hey, if anybody's got any help a brother out. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I would like to get. <laughs> we're working at cross purposes, sir. I would like to finish that as well. So we'll see. Yeah. But that's a you know that's that's about it for for the mob of neons. And then over in the blockchain, nothing really happening other than big interview with Woody. Um, his next project is literally like about a week away from drop. Um, it's probably in terms of press release and stuff like that, actually rolling out what it's going to be, what's the property going to be and stuff like that. Um, he's actually solicited me to, um, kind of see if I can't round up some beta testers for, so I know you're going to be in. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> for sure. And, um, you know, so I'm looking, I'm looking for folks. So if you're interested in blockchain, um, and you, you're a card collector and you spend in apps, come at me. I, I want to build a list here so that I can offer him a, you know, a nice cross section of people to, to uh, you know, really run his thing through the paces. He's very, very interested in, um, isn't this different from a developer of actually paying attention to what customers like and, and want? Um, yeah. So he's very yeah. interested in that and he wants to do that before launch too. Um, so it's going to be a way to sneak preview um, and really kind of be in on the ground floor or something, I think is going to be really cool. The fact yeah. that it's going to be app driven on mobile devices is something that we have not seen in the blockchain yet. Um, and I think that's going to make it a lot more approachable and I think a lot more pleasant experience for folks too. Um, so if, it, if it's coupled with a good property, um, oh boy, look out, man. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I mean, one of the pain points for me is is the fact that it's, 
not on an app. There's no app interface. It's a pain in the ass to get on my laptop and deal with, you know, the transactions and purchases and stuff like that. If you could just do it on your phone, it'd be a lot easier. So. Well, plus his, his mindset is really around trading. He wants actual trading, whereas in all the blockchain stuff we have now, you base, it's just like quid. You yeah. sell your stuff and then you buy other stuff. Whereas here he wants people to actually trade items the way that we do in the apps. So yeah. that's a really cool mindset to be coming at it from. Um, and then also the price point, he's really looking at a, a price point that does not sound horribly painful to me. Um, he's talking about being able to complete um, seasons or sets as, as they're called um, in, in the range of five to $10 for the basic set, which is not horrible. Yeah. Another all of that. Um, and plus a more regular uh, release schedule, uh, more like a weekly um, couple of sets a week, um, very similar to what we see in, in terror cards. So not crushing, um, but there ain't going to be no free to play. It's all going to be you buy what you get. Yeah, that's, that's real life, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to real life, uh, yeah. Disney collectors. <laughs> I thought this would be more friendly. We're going back to Disney. <laughs> <clears throat> So that's fun. So if you're, if you're, anybody's interested in that, I'm going to be soliciting on our discord. I already have a bunch of, you know, DAC 212. Yes, you're coming. Frank Reynolds. Yes, you're coming. Asia Marie. Yes, you're coming. And then um, he's got some, uh, some ties to some uh, other apps. He didn't headhunt, but he's got a few people that'll be familiar to folks that have been in some of the other digital card apps. Um, and I think that will bring some folks um, running as well. It sounds like he's got a really good team and man, I'll tell you what, this guy's just like kind of like a visionary. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it really is and how it pans out. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, can't say enough good stuff about, super about his background. Yeah, super so stuff. So um, we move into the magical world, the tragical world of k bunt, kick, and slam. <laughs> um, kick is now, uh, I think, days away from the changeover to the, the Marvel build, as we call it. Yeah, and, all the all the kicksters are all mad. Well, they're mad because they did the the card sheet, and now you know they've, yeah. they've now they see the writing on the wall. Hey, governor, what's that? I'm all, oh, I'm gonna have to club an old lady in the back of the head for what you just did to me. <laughs> and it's been a, it's been a year now, and if they haven't gone and looked at the other apps or experienced it at all, and <laughs> Well, they just go and get coins. That's all I've got is coins. <laughs> expect me to open a pack, governor. <laughs> I, I picture everybody in England as being a chimney sweep. <laughs> and they all look like Dick Van that. Dyke for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is. But, um, yeah. England is based upon Mary Poppins. Yes, mostly based. Mary, it's a, I, I figured it was probably like a Poppins based economy <laughs> there. So mostly, mostly, yeah. <laughs> well, Tim, Tim has been trying to, <laughs> to to talk to him. He's been asking people for, you know, different ideas or ways to explain things and things like that. So he's been trying to, I guess, set the stage, which is great, uh, but it's, it's, it's <laughs> I'm though. sure any, it's any, any effort at doing good for anybody in, in kick is, you know, rewarded 10 times over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I, I, I see. <laughs> Call Me Nemo remember. has joined us on Twitch. Oh, Hello, that? Call Me Nemo. Oh, nice. Remember when? Uh, remember when the Slamheads were were talking about? Oh, what, what we need to do is we need to get a petition together. We need. To <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a boycott. We got a boycott. <laughs> this this yeah. is this is bullshit. We're not going to deal with this. Guess what? Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, you are. Yes, hey, you are. did you see? There was a guy. One of the guys that won one of those shout out cards on uh, Slam. Uh, showed a, showed a, like a video of his his card. You know, during the Digicast, they had sold cards. I think there were twenty bucks <laughs> for a chance at at a shout out from either um, I can't remember the guy's name, and then the other one was Alexa Bliss, the oh, woman. And she's a woman. She's a lady, very attractive and very popular. There, she's their Ray. Um, and so I think five people won a shout out from from her. And so during the shout the the Digicast, she did her shout outs. Well, they also got a card of the shout out. It's a one of one and it actually has video from the Digicast of their shout out. That's um, pretty cool. It's really fucking Why cool. Why can't we get that? <laughs> yeah, that that's, you know, I mean for for somebody in Slam to have that and and that's their one of one with their name on it and there's there's Alexa Bliss giving them a shout out. 
um, man, I, I, you can't, I can't possibly no, put a price cool. on that. No, that'd be so crazy. Cool. Well, I mean, they kind of, they tried to do that maybe a little bit. Remember when they had the, uh, the James Arnold Taylor signatures where they were personalized to the, yeah, to yeah. The, yeah. The, to the uh, IGN. Um, but they were shitloads of money. God, what were they? What did we figure they were? Like 300 bucks a piece? Well, they were straight up selling them. It was yeah, they were just like straight selling pony up. It wasn't like a chance of. It was like yeah. here. Yeah, it was about 300 bones. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think yeah. they only sold three. I think they were going to so. do five or ten, and they only sold, I think, three of those. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, But, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, like like – I know you guys were talking about it with last week or the week before. Why can't we get, you know, cards with video clips? How cool would that be? It, it was neat. It was really well done and, and um, interesting. Uh, I, they, they pulled something off there. I was really, really, mm -hmm. uh, when I saw the card, I was like, well, that's pretty fucking cool. And the other funny thing was, you know, Alexa Bliss, I'm used to seeing just pictures of Alexa Bliss on, on cards you know, when she's in the ring and she's all done up and how she's done. And I was joking around, you know, I watch her come out and, you know, a bathrobe and sweatpants and her hair all a mess. But she, she wasn't like that. But she looked really different. She looked completely different than I've seen her on any of the cards. Huh. It was it was yeah. really strange. And that would be a cool one of one to have then. Yeah, it was it was it was yeah. cool. They, they did something there. So props, props to the slam team for pulling that one off and that getting cool. it, getting that shoehorned in on the Digicast deal. It's pretty, pretty neat. So yeah, it's and kick. They're they're all just you know huddled down and waiting for their doom. Well, yeah, it's because it's coming. There's yeah, yep. it's not gonna change. So Disney Collect this week. Did you do any Disney Collect? Oh. I forgot to open. Oh, she forgot to. Oh, open. there we go. <laughs> uh, so much. I have I have shame for you right now, but um, I didn't do anything except there was a new select which I didn't miss for once. I didn't get go. a notification. But I was when I went in for oh, something. Oh, free coins! Oh, oh I want like to talk to Mr. Disney. <laughs> I want free coins. I how didn't come, get any. How come all these other apps always give people free coins? Yeah, lots I of mean, them. like if something glitches for a second, Disney. they give them free coins because they don't want all them Karens coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars can like you know forget drops you know mess up packs. I fucked up a pack this you morning know, already. Oh, completely yeah. disrupt trading for like six hours and nothing. No free coins. Nothing. For you. I mean, come on, Mark, throw freaking coins out there. They don't buy you shit anyway. <laughs> I'm guaranteed. They can't afford anything anyway, and they're just send us some useless coins. His response would be, "I gave your husband eight dollars worth of coins <laughs> last week, and he blew them on a 1983." <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I Are you kidding? I told you how much I spent on that. We'll get to that. Oh yeah, shit. me too. But there was a new there was a new um, select this week, and it was the Aristocats. Yep. Talk like a pirate day. What is it? Oh. Yeah. Is it talk like a pirate day? Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, we should have done the whole cast in pirate talk. Oh, bloody! Take it from the top. Bloody that hell, governor! Good. I'm a pirate. That's my, Mary Poppins pirate. Smell, yeah, <laughs> I like the sweet chimneys, and I'm look like Vic, Vic Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> That's also my pirate. <laughs> Hello, puppet. I don't think I did anything in Disney this week. I, I, uh, wow. What did I do? It was junk. It's all the same junk all the time. I'm so tired that. of that. Yeah, they 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 did a, another. They, there was a box drop too of. Uh, yeah, Life. Bugs Life. I never cared for that movie. No. That was when they had like everything has to be. Everything CG. came out well. That that's like one of those ones that like came out and somebody else made one like it because there right. was bugs life and then there were ants and it's like ants yeah i was gonna say ants was bug the life and, and wasn't it like ants with a z yeah yeah well so i mean yeah yeah, yeah of course. Cooler. you know so it's so like cool. bugs life or ants yep. Ooh. we i think we saw both did we we may have not if not in a theater we may have i don't well, know. No, no we did not no, no are you didn't. sure we, we didn't see did. bugs life we in the did theater? not are you we did sure? not if there would have been a Star Wars trailer in front of her, was Bugs have. Life? Did Bugs yeah. Life have Kevin Spacey as the grasshopper? No, that was Ants. I can't remember now. See? Kevin Spacey was in one of those bug movies, and he really? was like a grasshopper. Yeah. Huh. That's like, well, get that guy away from the kids' <laughs> movies. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Well, uh, I, don't think, I don't think they have Twink movies. <laughs> movies oh, for Twinks. <laughs> That's what he. I don't think so. One of those. 
<laughs> he probably is in some of those <laughs> in his private He's collection. Crazy, I mean. <laughs> Tommy Nemo thinks it was an ants. I think it was ants too. Okay. Yeah, well, that I makes think, grasshoppers uh, and the ants. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this, it's all the same junk in Disney all the time. It really is. I don't. I don't know. And my dumbass still does the daily. So well, you know what I gotta do soon is I gotta meld those. I I haven't melded any of those uh, fruit salad things. I melded stuff. one fruit. I have finally got. Well, you need sixty of those fucking things. Yeah, you need like yeah, you need ten times six cards i have enough to do it now and we have I like did two one left, so i guess i'll do <laughs> I have one of those mini cards and the car the counts on them are fucking astronomical I'm yeah. like, how are people putting together all these goddamn fruits how are you yeah, getting yeah. this done i don't get it alt that's it it was crazy there was yeah the so there's I, I melded it and i felt immediately like heavy rain that wasn't worth it oh Where? god heavy oh. it's a, a crystal it's a hard rain i'm the what <laughs> i'm the what <laughs> gotta explain that reference there's a movie called hard rain and um what who was the who played the sheriff was uh, it a quaid it was a quaid no it was randy quaid mm. yeah randy quaid is the sheriff and it takes place like during a hurricane and and um they're they're do the they're doing a robbery like a armed car armored car robbery during this hurricane or whatever and it's like in louisiana and everything's all flooded and everything and then the cops are tr are actually in on it, Randy Quaid. Here's a spoiler warning for a movie that's 20 <gasps> fucking it. years ago. <laughs> Did you actually watch this movie? Oh, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. It's old. No, I never even watched oh, it. Oh, it's terrible. It's hilariously bad. So he's the sheriff, and he's in on the robbery. And so when he goes to try to, to get the money from the, the hero guy, one of the guys goes, you're the sheriff. And he goes, and this is in the trailer. He goes, you're the sheriff. And he goes, I'm the what? <laughs> I was he's like, still alive? <laughs> yeah and then there's later on he's still alive well that now we may be confusing it because there was other movies that came around the no, same no, no, time no. Those, those were both hard rain okay all right mm. good well, there you go. Because we saw that trailer so many times in the Which, theater what, was it because of star wars probably was it phantom menace probably yeah because because we saw that and um volcano oh my that god trip, because volcano. that's the one with the What's a geological What's event? What's a geological event? There's like cracks opening up in the thing and lava oozing out <laughs> of the streets of LA. And he's like, oh, what's a, what's a geological what's event? What's a geological event? What are you talking about? And now, oh, remember the electrifying the uh, the sexual the chemistry, chemistry between Tommy Lee, jo <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones and Anne Hayes. Oh, God. <laughs> were just crackling those two. I just oh. knew I knew it was gonna end and they were they were gonna be fucking. Yeah, so anyway, long, <laughs> long, long, long story, way too long. Basically we saw these same trailers over and over and over again. So much so that they're stuck as part of our lexicon. Yeah. So anytime <laughs> either of us goes, oh it's starting to rain, the other one goes, I'm the what? <laughs> stupidest fucking shit. That's the kind of shit that happens around here all the time. It's so dumb. So That's dumb. cool though. They're, programmed. They're like wired into our chips now. We have to make these jokes every time. Mm -hmm. Hard rain. I'm the what? I'm the what? <laughs> yeah, you still nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, that was all for Disney. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I was going to make a big, long, elaborate, uh, incredibly dirty joke um, using the punchline, the Aristocats, you know, like the the, the joke, or the Aristocrats. Uh, but I think the rain thing was better. So let's just yeah, move on to move Marvel. On. Marvel Collect. Hey, they didn't have any man things this week, so I hate it. I'm deleting. The I thought they did. Didn't they have one? Or is there one that's an award coming up or some shit? I don't, I don't know. I where think, I thought I saw one. I don't think I there's a word with a man thing. If I, if I fuck, I better know about it. If there is, yeah. I'd be mad. Well, I don't know. I I can check, but you better now. Don't drop that yeah. shit on me and then leave me hanging. Okay. Bro, oh, I gotta look. <laughs> I need to know that. But they dropped a new wave of flexions yesterday. Flexions. Yeah, I saw that. Well, Crystal likes those. She collects. They're not. Ice they're not bad. I actually looked at them. Which do you like? All of them. All of them. What's your there favorite? There was a Thor one this week. There was a Thor one. Like, that's your favorite. Yeah. yeah. The Punisher. The Punisher was cool. The Captain America was pretty cool. Captain America's always cool. Um, did they have a Venom? I, I like ah, Captain America's Venom. other picture this week, though. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's not going to be in the app. <laughs> that's not going to be in the app. <laughs> My cousin said, thank you for the preview, sir. <laughs> I would smash that with a thousand hammers. <laughs> well, um... 
yeah, like I said, I, I, the reflections are, they're cool. Some of them are neat. I didn't, I, I said I was going to go back and do that second wave and I didn't. Um, I think you do like the, the frame, wave. that bl broken glass. Yeah. If they'd look so much cooler if they were just full bleed images straight on the card. They don't, they don't need that shattered mirror thing. It takes away from it, I think. I think they'd be prettier. But, hmm. oh, well, what are you going to do? Well, I think the next wave of that, um, um, uh, what is it, Omnibus is supposed to come out today at 4. I think it was 4, oh, 4.30. Gosh, I didn't finish that last one. There oh, so well, many. Jesus, there's a million. Cool. Take mine. I don't want them. I, I just got them um, thinking I could trade them for man things, and nobody nobody came at me. I, I spammed relentlessly nothing. with those huh. and couldn't get – got nothing, no no man things. So I hate it. Just hate yeah, it. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I'm looking to see what set would have had the van thing or the award, but maybe nothing. No biggie. I finished off X icons this week. I think the last drop for that was earlier in the week. I finished. And there that were four instead of three. The Spider Man was really good. Of the flex. Yes. Only. Yeah, that was cool. That's cool looking. Let's see. Yeah, and there were four of the uh, X icons. That's, that's what you want in a reflections. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's reflecting stuff in his little in his, mirror eyes. Yeah, that's cool eyes. Yeah. Actual flexion. It flected, I would say. Yes. So yeah. was that it for Marvel Collect this week? I think so. Like, it's just, you know, I don't know. what They did some other smaller sets, but yeah, that omnibus is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not so even touching that there's, thing. I think three, four waves, I think, overall for uh, four or five. I think it's a 400 card set overall or some shit like that. It's insane. It's gigantic. Yeah. So it's yeah, going to go on for a while. Um, so they'll get a man thing in there sooner or later. That's what she said. Oh! Yeah. Really? Went right there. <laughs> Boom, went right it went right in there. That's what she said again. So Yay. I can just keep doing that all day long. I'm the what? Uh, let's see. The the weekly sets or the comic panel and then the, the original art, which I did. I didn't I'm not doing the die cut weekly set. Or yeah, the weekly set the die cuts. I'm doing the the other ones, the the reds and the blues, whatever the that set is. <laughs> Where they have the tops teams or whatever it is. There's a blue oh, version. I only did one of those. <laughs> but I did a lot of them. <laughs> well, I, I, I actually it. pulled I actually pulled and, and completed the last wave of X icons. Um Yeah, there are four four cards this time. Yeah, that was a lot in both variants. So yeah. that that was odd. But I was able to I, I pulled an act like a sh like four of one and three of another. I went I got crazy lucky on the motions. And I was just like dupes for needs, and then the extras I just traded off for um, Inception uh, gold uh, man things. Nice. Thought that, that was easy, so that was cool. So I guess now we move into the magic world of Star Wars. <gasps> Keeping it weekly, baby. No, we're not. No. There's nothing no. going on. Nothing no. happening weekly at all. I no. don't. I don't change the anything. It's just boom. That's what it is. Star Wars. Here we are. And yep. Well, get, you can put a different background. This one's getting glitchy and it's driving me. There you go. The dark ones are better for some reason. There you go. There you and go. They, we really pop. Look how we pop. We really <laughs> pop. <clears throat> I gotta be careful when I pop like that. Mm. You need a lozenge. I need, I need, yeah. It's, yeah. Where does all this phlegm come from? I don't know. You get older, you just yeah, mostly you just, phlegm. It's hard it's to get old. That's all. Yeah, I think it's just getting old. So keeping a weekly note, nothing. Hoard updates. Well, I am crushing it. That's literally all I've been doing is hoarding. Really? Uh, I just crossed 19,000 white Janas. Damn, that is crushing it. I'm at 4,000 blue. I am at 2.1 thousand red. Just shy of 1,000 at 976 green and 482 orange. So I'm going to be at 1,500 in no time on those. I'm on BD1. I'm now at 15,000 white, uh, 2.6 on uh, blue, uh, 2.6 thousand blue. I am at uh, 1.6 thousand red, 671 green, and 412 orange. So super comfy, um, you know, feelings going on there. And it's going to be a while. So I'm, you know, I'm in great shape. How, how are you doing? How are your hordes, my love? Um, I did not hoard all week pretty much. Why? I was eh, I was busy. Work. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I didn't get around to it. Um let me see. I'll get you around to it. Uh <laughs> but I think I think S1 Leia, I think I'm good on her. Uh because I'm at 12k for white, 1.7k for blue. 
one K for red, 492 green, and 288 orange. Nice. So I think she's good. Mm, yeah. So I think, I mean, in shit in safe range. Yeah. I just I need to work on uh, the Bespin Leia, but again, I think I also got annoyed because like I kept trying to go out there and like send trades because when I did like post in the feeds, it's like crickets. I, I was getting nothing. Wait, yeah, so then I would nothing. go out and I was looking for them and people would have like no Leia's and I'm like, oh, okay. yep. so, it's hard. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So I'm stuck at 3.1 K white, uh, 1.1 K blue, 715 red, 387 green and 170 orange. And do we think that they're going to go through the end of the year? I think that's what we were talking about. Probably through the end of the year with S2. I would think. Sorry, wave two. I would they think. need to get those cards out there. Or, or I don't know, maybe drop some sets that people actually buy a lot of packs. Mm. Ooh, that would be different. Huh? What? So how, are, how are yours going, uh, Matt? Um, they're both about the same. I've got them pretty much about the same numbers, roughly. Uh, they're a little over 13K white. Um, about one and a half thousand blue, like so 1,500 blue, um, 1,000 red, 400 green, and 150 orange. So Roughly, you're doing, you're doing Boba, Boba and you're doing the child? Yeah, um, Return of the Jedi Boba and the child, both from wave one. <laughs> Fixing the yeah. die, Boba. Yeah, that's right. Getting ready to jump. <laughs> Did he? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. No, he didn't. We never, we never. <laughs> I don't know. Or did he? Dun, dun, he? dun. Well, they say he's going to show up in the Mandalorian, spoiler warning. That, 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 that's what they're apparently listing now on Tamir, whatever, Tamir Morrison's um, stuff. Really? His agents are listing it that he's Boba Fett in Mandalorian. Oh, that's wild. So, I hope that's not. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. We'll that's see. Really cool. We'll see. And do you realize all the people are supposed to be in Mandalorian this year? It's insane. It's bonkers. Just what we're like. Timothy uh, Oliphant's in it. Oh, no fucking way. What's he? I don't know. Holy shit. I hope he's just like oh, Seth. <laughs> Seth Bullock from, <laughs> <laughs> Seth Bullock from, from Deadwood. Deadwood. Holy shit, man. That guy was fucking amazing. Have you seen that show? Yep. Yep. That's pretty good. Oh, my God. He's terrifying. That one where he just like. Uh, it was like the the fake dad, uh, the 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 widow woman's fake dad shows yep. up, and he he just he literally beats this guy to death and just <laughs> leaves him on his horse to ride the fuck out of town with everybody else. I mean, I'm yeah, serious. I think that guy died like an hour later. He beat him so fucking bad and so fast. I mean, it was just like shut your fucking lying mouth. <laughs> How'd yep. you go? It was incredible. That. Oh, what a cool show. I love it. Oh. it taught me how to swear. <laughs> <laughs> I've been avoid. I haven't watched the Mando trailer yet. A lot of people say there's, you know, no spoilers because it's, it's a trailer, but I don't right. want to look at it. So I did the same thing for even, I mean, just Rise of Skywalker. I didn't look at anything. I try not to look at anything until I watched the show. <laughs> even the movies that came before it? Well, you know. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, oh, the previous, the oh. previous movies to ruin any of the plot. That's right. Any of the. <laughs> to, oh. to the last part. That's why I went. I went. I went to see Back to the Future Three. Don't tell <laughs> them about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why is Why is Darth Vader being so chummy with Luke Skywalker in this <laughs> Return of the Jedi film? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Something. <laughs> they were sworn enemies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's got to be other trilogy movie trilogies we can do this with. Yeah, when I saw <laughs> Return of the King, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was like, why are they in Gondor? What's this all about? <laughs> <laughs> Why is why are these movies so long? They're already there in Mordor. <laughs> are the other ones this long? <laughs> What's going on here? Ten hours to tell this story. My afternoon at this. Thing. <laughs> I don't understand these voices that are going with this whole thing. <laughs> it's fun. It's a good oh. voice. It's a good voice. <laughs> that was the voice I was going to do the Aristocats joke in. <laughs> So I, you know, it was already. I already had it written down. I was gonna. Really? Damn it. How do you write down a note to do that voice? 
<laughs> I mean, really. Vaudeville the- asshole boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks, come on back into the theater. I got something I want you to see. Yeah. Oh, reminds me of the time I went to the U.S. Open and sat in the box with Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, man. That's some classic shit. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, that was a Trump joke. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> You're like, oh, come on back here. There's something I want you to see. I was like, yeah. Oh, it's like, hey, come on back here, sweet cheeks. I got something I want to serve up to you. Okay. <laughs> so in the uh, the meditation chamber. <laughs> wow, we are not woke as shit today. No, I'm glad you got it, though. The meditation chamber is up to nine. I yeah. thought it would. It's stuck at nine for a while. Now. Well, it's going to stay there because they forgot to put the goddamn 99 cent thing in the store today. It's not there. Oh, Good nobody's job, guys. There. Boom. Honestly, I think that should probably be on autopilot by now, but apparently somebody think? actually has to push a button somewhere to make well, that. How, yeah. how is that even a thing where you have to push the button or manually reset the pack when the card is pulled? That makes no sense. Well, that's why I thought it was somebody had pulled another because it was gone this morning. It yeah, never I showed up. Yeah, I had that same thought, but it's, it's almost like, I, I don't know. Hear me out, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm giving you a fair hearing on Okay, this. I don't know. I don't think they know how to app well. Wait a minute. Oh, what? I think they're bad at apping. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I, I was just getting crazy there. I, I, I don't know where that came from. I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're, they're bad at apping. Or you could do the, you could do the, uh, you know, I object! <laughs> With the force you can't handle the truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. No, there was that 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 no, he's... anime game with the the. I can't remember the name of it now. I played the whole. I don't thing. play the anime uh, games. I That's played multiple of, of them. Yeah. You, lo- you love the anime. It's one where you're a lawyer. It's like ninja lawyer or something ninja like that. Lawyer. Ninja something lawyer. like that. Yeah, and you go and you solve mysteries and stuff. But there's always a part in the court. It always comes down to a courtroom scene, and then there's always a part where the lawyer goes, "I object," and that's how he looks with the finger out. That's going to be <laughs> finger all the way up. Screenshot the camera. and our huh. title. I object. So. Well. So I object to them not having the the thing in. They're bad. In the They're store. bad at apping, and it's just like. <clears throat> it's almost like I, I don't know he, hear me out hear me out okay i'm giving you a fair hearing mm-hmm. they have no plan mm. you know mm. they have no plan mm. just like they just fling stuff around you know it's just no plan mm-hmm. just well they're quick on their feet are they are they though they're pretty they're pretty wily are they? I'm gonna say even spry. Really? Yeah. That's a really. That's a trait I often hope people refer to me as being spry. He was spry. Yeah, he sure is spry for his yeah. age. Want that, want that on your tombstone? He was spry. He was spry. <laughs> no, it just it's it's almost like I I don't know. I feel like the the app is being neglected. Oof. Yeah, you well, said that the other day. Yeah, I, it, it yeah. feels like it's being neglected. There's no attention really being put to it. It's like every once in a while, you know, they put up one of those little, oh, big thanks to the community. Thanks, traders. You know, like ev- randomly they'll come up. But it's like when there's not actual stuff happening in between or coherent releases or content or... I, I don't know. Could we get something with colors in it, maybe? And I don't mean variants. I mean, like, you know, just colorful instead of just, like, black and white cards. Mm, that's true. It's although, been very although when they release black and white cards, they're different colors. But just, yeah. you know. Well, what about that color burst? That, that watercolor burst, that was full of color. It was bursting with and color. And it was, like, what, four or five cards? Yeah, and it was They're over. like, oh, yeah, we're spent. Woo! I am exhausted. That is our color content for the quarter. We're done. Okay, every back to every, monochrome. Back, back to monochrome. The rest of the quarter, guys. Everybody we work gotta write it out till the end of the quarter. Let's man. all work in a Soviet factory. Yeah, I. It just, it just feels like neglect. <laughs> there it is. And then just like with the Digicast, it's like they're all over the place. Every other second, you're turning around, and oh, Digicast is live. And oh, I know. For no, and there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we work in Russian factory. <laughs> it looks like a, it looks like an return of the Jedi black and white card. It's like, has anybody even seen anything? It sucked all the guys? it sucked all the color out of our lives. It did. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. We're black and white now. I'm working in a Russian factory. 
Well, time to make more it. socks. Hey, this is what uh, uh, Pink Master Yoda was doing the other day when he accidentally <laughs> posted a Pornhub <laughs> link <laughs> in the fan feed. Yes, he was. <laughs> yeah, he posted. He posted. I mean, we are, I haven't seen that in a long time. There's somebody a while. posted a Pornhub link in the fan feed by accidentally copy pasting. Number one, bro. What do you have that like on a notepad? You just go back to your old favorites and paste that into the fucking browser for a few minutes. Stand by here. This always gets the job done. This one's one of my absolute favorites. You know, (laughs) the world of variety available. You're gonna copy and paste from (laughs) what the fuck are you doing? Like you know, there's only ten million. Nobody got it and screen capped it. I don't know if he knew he did it. Oh, I don't know. There's only like ten million videos, but that's the one that is. (laughs) (laughs) That's the one that does it for him. It's got grasshoppers and ants in it. He's really excited. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe he knew somebody in that video. And he was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, shit. And I then he's going to send it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I missed my friend Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know that dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think. You know, the guy with the, 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 the dude with the, you only see the, the tattoo around his belly button. I don't even know what his face looks like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're getting a little deep here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyways, moving on. <laughs> But, but yeah, guy, it was but funny too because he had Dude, just he gotten did. into a pissing contest with somebody like the day before because he's yes. always like one of those, you know, take one, leave two, any, I don't care, who that was, kind of who thing. Who was this? Jedi, it's like Pink, Pink Master, Master Yoda. <laughs> Some bullshit. But now everybody calls him Pink Master Vader. <laughs> Yep. They had a lot of fun with that one. Somebody posted it on Reddit, and it oh, was yeah. in our Discord, and everybody's having a big time. And he's just kind of like, "Motherfucker!" How and, well, he did that. He posted. Then he, he did a YouTube link too, some other YouTube link, and some other bullshit. Like, yeah, but he didn't get suspended. That's fine. He's he can he can chill. Yeah, no, I mean it's fine. Post some porn to for the kids. So that's sure. great. Yeah, um, you would, that yeah. was kind of funny. But anyways, huge sidetrack. And yes, we we do feel very monochromatic these days. And, and annoyed and we yes. want we want color well, back and variety back and um less you know i don't know anyways well i think yes. that i think that the return of the jedi black and white is going to be done tomorrow mercifully i'm i'm done with that is shit. it the, is it another like wave, wave of the base 17 or is something? it another uh, wave of the base or is it like the behind the scenes or something no it, it'll be the last wave of the base Oh, for fuck's sake isn't the oh i know dude because it's a hundred and they didn't do behind the scenes yet no, they didn't do behind the scenes. And the physical set is 137 or some shit, like 140. And so they've done 27 or 20, 26 or 27 cards a week. So there should be five waves of that. Oh, I'm really so, fucking tired of it. I, you know, oh, one I'm, more wave. I, I, I was doing like, I was up to like, I was doing like purple and stuff in the early going. And then I, eventually I just dropped down to just blue and orange. Mm-hmm. And I'm sick of even that. And you're doing them in all the fucking colors, right? You're crazy. I was, I was trying to 100% that sucker because I had done 100% of A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Okay. But this is some bullshit here. Well, like, you're, you're almost there. One more week. Um, that's, at least that's, those didn't have they, they, those didn't have those chromatic, or the, the hue variants. This fucking six variants of this shit is awful. And, and to have to do those reds. Jesus, man. Well, it cuts def- definitely gets those counts down on on those those reds and the blacks and stuff like that, and even the greens. Um, the awards on those have just been dropping. Oh, they've been dropping. Hell yeah. yeah! The red the red awards are in the like the teens, the mid teens now. So yeah. I don't know. It's a shame I'm they can't they fun. can't like do uh, an overall for dumb fuckers like you that have done no, this because I can't shit. believe they're not doing an overall. I would, dude. I I cannot believe. Or they should just do 100%. Like, if anybody 100% is that sucker, you should get a special card. That's crazy. Well, I, it, I can't buy that they can't do an overall because now we see an overall in the, the 1983. And it's yes. basically based off a mission. So why they couldn't do that, why didn't they realize that they could do that, I don't know. But there you go. So moving into the sets. Yes. Um, the thing that we thought was daily last week when we talked about it, the mind, the mind tricks or Jedi mind tricks, is actually... It's a daily set, but only on the days Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's it. <clears throat> and then take the weekend off. So that's mm-hmm. kind of weird. And it's hypnotic, and I quit smoking, so that was great. Yeah. <laughs> and so far, the, it's all been cartoons. Yeah, and then the daily disguise set, which are 
That's really a daily set. Actually, every day. Yeah, yes. they now they have fucked. But up. that's the one. That they, Here she comes. Oh boy. They changed <laughs> the packs and the mechanisms. Something that's happened. Crazy. Yeah. Because like the first one, the Padme one, I don't recall there being a. 5,000 credit pack where you got an avatar. There wasn't. The first two didn't have that. And and what the heck? Because yeah. you wanted that Padme. Yeah, yeah. I would have wanted that Padme avatar. But Ooh. no, let me have 15 different Anakin avatars. Yeah. What the heck? Well, the, the, the fuck up today is the um, motion variant, which is supposed to be in the 1,500 uh, coin pack, is not in that pack. Um, so if you want to blast away for some free base, go ahead and open some packs and then open up a ticket because mm -hmm. that's fucked up. It's supposed to be in there. It's long odds, but it ain't in there. If you pop the uh, shop icon on the motion card, the Tamtel Screech, it's not in that pack, even though it says it is. Gosh, yep. bad at apping. And apparently it was in that pack at some point, but now it's disappeared. And it, it, the whole thing's fucked up. The whole, the whole really thing's is. jacked up. It's been a fucking circus. I don't know if that's the one they're letting the interns run or what, but it's know. been fucked up. Plus, it's all it's been mostly tuned stuff. The motion cards are nice. Um, the the bonus motion ones, those are pretty yep. cool. And there's a there's a Jin um, and Cassian one. Yeah. Where they're all yeah. I haven't got that one. They're yet. in disguise. I have the regular one if you want it. The pink one. Yeah. Like the, the the static one. I don't have the motion one, hmm. but I pulled that that one. So um, yeah, so that that's you know eh, that's not that great. And then they dropped the this is the dark side twenty twenty. Yeah. Last Saturday's big deal. Yeah, that that came in again a super small set. How many cards are that? Eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Eight, eight cards, boom, you're done. But the motion, ooh, they're all on fire. <laughs> they're standing in the fire. They're standing in they're the just, fire. They don't care. You gotta move. They don't. They don't care. It doesn't hurt them. You they're gotta bad. move. You're gonna catch fire. Come on, Darth Vader. They're bad. Anakin doesn't, doesn't hurt them. Fire doesn't hurt them. If you're evil enough, fire doesn't hurt you. Anakin Skywalker Anakin. likes to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's probably what it was. He thought, hey, if I kill a bunch of kids. I'm fucking flame proof. Go ahead, knock me in the lava, Obi-Wan. It's not going to hurt me. And all of a sudden, I'm a fucking five billion announcer again. I don't know. What's the deal with that? <laughs> so that's fun. Come on back into the theater. Sweet cheeks, I got something I want to show you. So, yeah, that's, that's what he should have said to Padme instead of, you know, you're taking her from me. Yeah, we don't take her from me! <laughs> So that was that's it's an okay set. It was all Fire! it was all tunes. It was all cartoons, okay. so I don't yeah. care for that uh, so much. But it's a cool looking set. Yeah, that's cool. Um, our buddy Merv got some good stuff out of there. Adam had a Dooku in there. There and there were different um, different avatars, different mechanics for different avatars. Yeah, and they've so. got the avatar on the wheel. Avatars on the wheel is I mean on the the, the what do you call the the lock on lock on yeah the lock on. So I have, you know, I've got a couple of those that I'll never use. I think yeah, I have never. And I have the emperor and it's like, oh, wow, I can't wait to not use these. Never use these. Use them. But I got those. So that's great. And then uh, Return of the Jedi was on Sunday. They started porting the, um, the classic 1983 Return of the Jedi sets mm -hmm. um, two series at a uh, time. There's the easy one, series one. Mm -hmm. Those are red. The reds, yep. And then the blues are kind of a bitch. They're a little tough, yeah. Yeah, They're and then the tough. stickers, um, you've got 11 stickers, and then mm -hmm. there's the die-cut stickers, which, man, I got, I just, like, had tons of those die-cut stickers. I got more than those, more of those than I thought I would, too, yep. Um, so, but, those are, yeah, they're a bitch, so they'll be around a for a lot of those, and there's, there's a bunch, four waves of those. Yeah, and the, so they'll be on every other Sunday, yeah. I guess, mm. on the off, the off Sunday from what would have been black and white so right anyway. so it's um it's definitely a set for folks that are you know on the cheap and want to get them for base um you could yeah. probably put that put that uh set together from the the folks like myself that are doing both both series and trying to do all the stickers too yep because it is cool and the ports are really nice they did a really good job the cards yeah, look super good. clean um you That's know like the 1977 is the first port they did they just literally like, hey, who's got a set of these and scan them? And they, were, them. 
they were off, you know, miscut and, and all fucked up looking. Um, these are like super clean, almost like they had digital scans of the original shit or something like that. They're super yeah. beautifully centered. They look, you don't have any cards of those in your, in your binders that look as nice as these do. Oh, they do look nice. And one of the other things that I thought looked, was cool about them is that, that they're unique. So when you look at a lot of the other physicals or the digital sets that they have, they put on the fake wrinkles and shit like they do on vintage, right? But the wrinkles are all in the same spot on the same, on the different cards. They're all wrinkled exactly the same. If you look at these, there could be, you know, an imperfection here or there on the back or like a little white spot or whatever. They're different on every card. It's like every card is unique to the way the card actually looked, not because it's got some weird digital, you know, vintage filter over top of it or whatever. So they are, I, I, I really like them. I like the way they look. The fronts, the backs are, are good. I think it's really cool. They had two missions in uh, at one at the beginning. They had two missions. One was to collect all 200 and then get the um, the title card right. as the award. And then they had one. Now they have just, and they had the one that was collect all the award cards and then get the title card as the overall award. Um, so basically both missions gave you the same award card. Um, but now they've removed the 200 mission and all the only one that's there is to collect all the award cards. Huh? Well, it'd be interesting to see if they come back with the collect all 200. Um, I don't know. But like you said, I mean, that's the overall, that's the way they can do. That's the mechanic or the mechanism they can use to do overalls. The only problem with that is if people pass those around and they could get around that by locking those award cards until. Well, the way to do it would be to make it so you had to collect all 200 because who the fuck wants to, you know, shift yeah. 200 goddamn cards around from place to place. Yeah, that's true. Can I borrow all 200 of these? I'll send them right back. I cannot tell you. I just you. need to borrow them. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. Need, I'll send them right back. All these fucking randos in the feed that are trying yeah. to do, get like Kevin John awards and stuff in Michigan. Yes. Um, hey, just send them. Send me all your SIGs and I'll send them right back. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, here's $90 <laughs> yeah. with the cards. I trust you, random person right. whose name I've never seen before. Yeah, sure. That's, that's a scam <laughs> at all this time. So. Besides the fact that it's it's fucking cycling, it's like yeah, I'd love to get banned so you can get fifteen thousand yeah. fucking coins. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, it's really God worth it. Damn, dude, seriously, be realistic. I'm not doing it. No, I say no. No, I say the nay. Nay. And then on, uh, say, hey, speaking of things that are black and white and dull and boring, oh god. How about that rebel and boss set this week? Oh, that thing, Aww. man. Oof. Oof. Passed on that big time. Yeah, wow. I, I think I pulled a couple of packs trying to help her because she was trying to do melds. And she's like, why no. the fuck do they have to have like some cards in the set that are, oh are melds? Gosh. And I those, know, those are orders of magnitude more valuable. Yes. Insane. You don't, those, like that, uh, you don't like them. Uh, that drives me insane. I, I feel like I'm in like in a commercial because it's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the before, before I get the product that makes it. Back in the before time. time. Let's pretend we're in Joe Biden's America. Oh, the taxes. Oh, taxes. Oh, God, they're so high oh. now. Why oh, we the have... roving hordes. Oh, God. Oh, oh, the Mexicans, they're coming no, in. Oh, the, no, the caravan made it. Shit. <laughs> Wow, that was a couple. That was a couple years old, guys. Yeah, that, that, that was an <laughs> hey, they may bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, yeah. Run out Drop, the about time. I yeah. mean, Mexicans have been bad for a couple couple months now, so he's got to get back to that. But <laughs> what are they even talking about? <laughs> talking about the melts. Oh, <laughs> because it's like you know, I needed like a few more, and I don't give a fuck which one is the meld card and which one isn't. I just wanted to finish the set. Well, oh, I know. And they, well, you know, like, they did that shit. Meld cards cost more. I'm like, damn it, I am not going to fucking look and see which one is a meld card or not. A card the one you card. don't have. <laughs> I assure you, it's the one you don't have or the uh, one that you have a dupe of that everybody. Everybody's has. trying to trade for. They did that shit with that last wave of fucking platinums where they had like, you know, five cards and right. one of them you could meld into like a special card. So, right. of course, it was Ray. So, nobody's fucking trading that. And they did the Mandalorian. Yeah, no, I feel your pain. That is some. It's like oh, they it. should at least, you know, put some kind of a little icon or a little dot or something on the card to make it distinct from the other ones. Mm. Or like, uh, you know, isn't there an icon for the, the meld, the workbench? Something there used like to be one, one for, um, yeah, like, but yeah. like the award tag. Yeah. Yeah. So when yeah. you look at it in the, in oh. the, the, it's a meldy yeah. one. Okay. Oh, no. Gosh. Oh, okay, cool. It's almost like we could think of stuff. 
Huh. Wow, it's almost like they did it before. Remember when they had the smuggler's den icon on shit? Yeah. 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 Huh. yeah. yeah. My goodness. There you go. So fuck that set. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Back to the world of color. Yeah, back oh, to the, fantastic. Oh, Cad Bane. The of color, there are more Cad Bane cards. I wish I could make everything just blue. I make everything oh. blue. Make myself look like Cad Bane. Make everything blue. Yeah. No, uh, I don't like those cards. I'm not collecting them. Yeah. Me neither. Nope. Throw Nobody. Throw them at me for that shit. Um, other uncommons all the time. I'm just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. I, I, I think I had like, how many were in the set? It was like. I don't know. The first wave. How many were in the set? I have no idea. I was like too I short. Didn't do of, it. I was like too short of completing the set. Didn't give a fuck. Made no nope. effort to go out and try to get those nope. at <laughs> all. You know. I love when people send them shits to you, like needs. Oh, but their needs. I'm like, dude, there's a reason I don't have uh, these. You know what? I, I got to the point where just like uh, somebody will want it down the road. I've had down some, the line, some maybe. sets like that that I just didn't want, didn't collect. But down the road, somebody's like, oh, I, I want, I'm want, i chasing those. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm Maybe trying to put that together. It. It's true. I never gave a fuck to get it. I don't give a fuck to lose it. Take it away. <laughs> Take it Either away. way. Bye. So I do feel I like there's... Do those. Is there two variants on those? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's like blue and red blue and or some red. fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, the red ones are the ones that everybody wants. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me, okay. but two whole waves of that. And that was that set that they fucked up and accidentally sneaked. And then it sat around for a month on the card sheet. And then they finally put yep. it out. So it's back. And that, that's cool. And then, hey, speaking of melt. Oh, oh this thing is <laughs> Stupid! Yeah. <laughs> this is stupid! Stupid! You don't like it? Stupid! Where do they dream up these stupid mechanics? What I don't know. Heck? Do they have like a dartboard know. with bad ideas and they're just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta do six. Let's go guys. to the dartboard of, dart of bad ideas. There we go. Oh, let me see. Oh, uh-huh. def- definitely three variants. Okay, cool, 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 cool. There you go. Cool. Definitely. Ooh, can we get a meld in there? Maybe a meld. Maybe, maybe, maybe let's get a workbench. Oh, mission. Oh, we got to get some kind of mission in there. Let's get a mission. <laughs> you got the stupid glasses on. <laughs> I don't know how to turn them off. <laughs> I wanted to see how long it would take you to notice those stupid glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time. It was a while. Yeah, right in the middle of your rant, <laughs> you see the glasses. And come, it just diffused it. I diffused That's the true. entire thing with humor. You're welcome, tops. Ah, I hate well. this mechanic. You don't like it? Where you meld it's the like whole set? Like, oh, guess what? You can blame Dan Sigel. Why, Dan? Dan Sigel fucking did this. Why? Dan Sigel even went on Reddit Why? today and took credit for Why? and said, "I'm sorry." Um, Why? You know, if you're pissed off and hate this, it's my fault because he's the one that fucking suggested it. Well, I think because, like, if you take a look at, like, say, Black and White Return of the Jedi, how you have nine zillion blues. Right. Like, oh, shit, I have, like, 50 of every blue because I've been pulling so many packs to right. try to get greens to try to use as meld. So now they're trying to chew up all, like, it would be really nice if I could meld, you know, 40 blues and get a get a red, but I can't, right? So I think that's the thing is he was trying to, get at that to where we won't use so many or we won't be sitting there with so many of one variant but i, I don't know this, oh, they, hit, they hit it on the dartboard this time well, the best part was that fucking shit was broke for like an hour at first people were pissed so people were melting with? away and it was supposed to be like one and three for a gold and people were just dumping shit in the hopper and nothing was happening all they were getting was the guaranteed green they weren't getting the golds that was broke for like an hour they finally fixed it mm. Well, that's the other thing that's that's really frustrating is that they get into these super complicated things like like the um, the Jedi mind tricks or I'm, I'm sorry the the disguise thing where it's a daily set multiple thing uh, you know uh, you know so many different packs plus bundles and all sort of stuff too fucking complicated and then they fuck it up yeah. it's something like this where they've got this meld mechanic and they fuck it up it's it like if work. you're gonna get super complicated and be really fancy. Don't fuck it up, okay? Do right. it right. right. That's, you know, you're you're outsmarting yourself when you do yep. stuff like this. It's a it's a cell phone. Totally agree. So yeah, good job. I I you know I, I'm behind I'm behind the idea of of melding um, a shitload of fucking garbage ass uncommons into something a little more worthwhile. But mm-hmm. do it right, and maybe that wasn't the set for that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Black and White Return of the Jedi. If you could take, I don't know, eight blues and make a fucking orange and then 
four orange and make a green or what? I mean, then you're incrementally decreasing the number that, of each that you and have. And still pull those too. So you yeah. could actually, you know, churn some of that fucking mulch. God damn, let's do some of those fucking uh, motion vintages. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. No have, joke. Like, goddamn 38 of some of those things. I do too. Yeah, those are garbage. Total garbage. Except for the Hux one. Well, yeah, you know. The Hux one, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. So um, coming up on Thursday, the Kevin John uh, set is going to award because that it's hard to imagine. It's actually wow. been a month since Digicast. Digicast. I mean, Digicon. It's, it's been that okay. long. Um, but we're, we're getting into that. So on I Thursday. I wish I could take a month long vacation. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. They got dusted. So, but that, that, uh, now I've been watching the card counts on these because I really like the set. And it's very interesting to me that we're going to have a low count variant. The, the, the SIGs are still hovering around in the two, they might crack 250 count mm -hmm. when this is all over after being in release for a month. So you can see that all the heat was the first week and really nothing has happened since then. Mm -hmm. um, the tilts are around 11 to 1200 on average. Um, and those, those sit with, the signatures in the epic tier the completed cards which you use to meld for the tilts are almost the exact same count as the tilts yep i'm um, in, in a lower tier and actually i think the signet the 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 just base the 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 uh completeds mm -hmm. are probably the best looking variant i think so too they're the um, most clean. There's no border. There's nothing on there except Topps logo and Star Wars logo, and that's it. It's a full bleed, beautiful image. Those are probably the best looking ones, but those are going to be in the you know they they might crack thirteen hundred. Yeah, well, I think yeah, like you said, but they sit right next. They're the same count count as the tilts because you needed them one for one for a meld, right? So for every tilt that's out there, it it costs at least it costs one of the completeds, which were harder. I mean, there were much more of the of the preliminaries and much more of the work in progress is um, out there. So, well, I, I understand why they made the choice for the um, for the, the 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 small image, and uh, and also the the main image. The the you know when you're just holding the thing flat, it's the work in progress image without the little hand and the paintbrush in there, um, on the tilt. Mm -hmm. um, because they didn't want to confuse them with the completed and they didn't want to have confusion with, they, they wanted to cut the confusion, but right. that sacrifices in, in my eyes, the look of those cards that the tilt cards, I just don't think look as good as the signatures. And I, I think the completed actually look the best of all those in the, in the set. Yeah, I would agree. They're nice. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see long-term what happens with those in terms of value is tier going to play a factor between preference and the tilts and the completeds. Um, the, yeah. the grand poobah is always going to be the signature set, you know, cause those are going to come in, you know, pretty low. Pretty and low. a lot of people I think pulled, got a lucky pull and, and aren't trying to complete that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's that many completed sets out there. I would be, I would be surprised if the award for the signatures came in a third, maybe a half of what the card count is. So I, I'm guessing around 150 count. Yeah, that's my that's what my gut says because it seems like you know a lot of people went hard at that um, variant because it was going to be the low one and stuff. Yeah, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, not this Thursday, but next Thursday when everybody's finally claimed all their fucking awards when we find out what the counts actually are. Right, that'd be cool. You know, we're kind of color coordinated. You've got kind of an orangey. I know you guys are looking like you're matching a little bit there. That's pretty cool. Mine's a kick-ass Frank Frazetta Berserker. <laughs> kick-ass final season of Clone Wars. Oh, that's nice. Very so, nice, yeah. All right, so that with that, um, coming soon. Anything coming soon? Can we even, can we predict? They, have, they haven't soon? even teased us with anything. Did we even no. get the email or the anything? Anything, Bueller? No, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think so. You know, an email or any no. kind of warning about anything going on. I'm trying to think of anything that's coming up that I'm looking forward to. Oh, I hope I hope it's yeah. black and white. Nope, yeah. Maybe something will just be tons of color. Splashy. <laughs> tons <laughs> of color. No. Nope. 
Nope, just continuing the waves of, of the 1983. I'm excited yeah. about that. They, you know, their their current cadence is is pretty fucking dull. The repeated oh. wave after wave after wave of stuff. Um, you know, I see what they're doing, but it, it's it's not great. It's not exciting. There's no surprises. I feel better in the morning as sure as the sun rises. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, one of the one of the positives for me is that at the end of the workday, when I go out and get my phone and and leave for the day, I miss much. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh. like, there used to be a, a fear that, like, I would have missed, you know, a fucking gilded biker scout drop or anything. Like, no, no there, and nothing that drops is is of any consequence. Like, well, if I missed it, then that's okay. It'll still be there when I leave work. It's yeah. no big deal. I was really surprised I didn't see farmers going um, on the '83 Blue series, the the series two. I think even the farmers are bored. I don't think they even went yeah. at that um, at all. I, I don't. Not really. No. Okay, well, I guess with that, our lack of, of knowledge, um, have you got any shout-outs? My oh, shout-out yeah. was for Pink Master Yoder Bader. <laughs> that was my shout-out for the week. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Uh, uh, my shout-out is to Brandon Bernard, who today turns 39. So 39, that's right. Wow. So if, if by chance he were to listen to this, he would, he would hear a happy birthday. So. I wanted to give a shout out to the guy from the uh, the Rebel. Uh, the, what is that? The the Rebel Fizz base card. Rebel oh, base Mark? card. Man, he's like an ardent listener, and he gives us shout outs like every week on Twitter. Man, I'm driving into work and loving the the Hordecast. I love that. I, that I would. I'll be on your show anytime. Ask. That would be Come really on. cool. You guys should get together and do a show because yeah. that would be awesome. Because I'm into I'm into physical as well, you know. Yeah. I, uh, oh, totally. It's all old shit. <laughs> I don't yeah. do any of the new stuff, but um. You well, know. no, you you do current stuff. It's like every once in a while I'll come across this box. I waste twenty dollars on twenty dollars on a box, Ooh. and then you like, give me this box. So yeah. like. I have, so... I have this big tin Can you sort that's like these? full <laughs> of cards that like we don't have the sets for and like it's on my <laughs> list of things to do when the power goes out and there's nothing here's, to do. Here's my collection of uh, random sort them, physical maybe. cards this week. I have this. this uh, when did uh, you get that? Uh, I don't know. Admiral Statura. Uh, it's a it's one of those coin looking things. Ooh, wow. And then yeah, that's great. And then I got this What's Rose that? Chico. It's like a little. It's a ooh. It's a oh, cool. look at that. Right here, you can have it. There wow. we go. It only costs twenty dollars. <laughs> Jen Urso with her, her, her Jen Urso with her X wing. Oh, I like that one. Okay, a nice card. That'll be twenty dollars. And <laughs> here's a, oh, here's Ray. That's heavy. Look at yeah, I know it's a it's a. Now here's this is a numbered, um, patch of Ray, and it's numbered forty three of fifty of, and it says resistance forever. There you go. You can have that too. Cool. Wow. Now, Not as heavy. Now this is what is this? This is a oh, this is your Dom Hall Gleason that we we redeemed. That's uh, the redeem. You want the blank yeah, redeemed? Yeah. It's got his name on yeah. it, so that's cool. How did you not let me have that? Before? I don't know. I redeemed it. Right. And then um, here's a, a, now this is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. This is actually a, a DAC uh, autograph that I have. Wow! Um, Look at that. That's kind of cool. I can't remember what from what set that is, but it's like their cheapest variant. Man, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, speaking, speaking of speaking yeah, of physical, wait, there's, cards. Some more. There's, there's, piles there's some more everywhere. There's some more. I got look. Yeah. Here's that. Here's Admiral Akbar's son's autograph. No, <laughs> that sucks. I don't need that one. You don't need that one. Okay, yeah. now here's another Rose Tico. You might be interested in it's. it's that's it. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. It's See, good. so you could totally talk to you, you could totally talk the physical now, stuff. Now, don't try to take this one from me at all because it's oh. nice. It's. It's Malakili's <laughs> autograph Ooh. in all his glory, and then yeah, and then just a bunch of Star Wars CCG cool. cards. Yeah, well, you know, I got I, I got have a cards physical. everywhere. I, I do. I, I have a sickness. A lot of times I'll go to Walmart <laughs> and they have like uh, blaster boxes oh. on clearance because usually they're like twenty bucks and they'll have them for like ten bucks. I'm like, well, mm -hmm. fuck it, I'll buy it. Because the dream is you're gonna buy one of those and you open it up, boom, Han Solo. Yeah. Photograph. Holy fucking shit. Five thousand dollar card. I bought it for ten bucks. Yeah. Of Harrison Spent Ford Auto. Five thousand dollars in random blaster boxes over <laughs> years and never gotten anything like that. Oh, that's all right. Well, I will I will say that um Krubaka, I got a card from Krubaka this week and he sent it to me. Oh it yeah, was, that's right. He was selling some physical. 
He was, and it was the, um, it has a film cell in it. It has two film cells. Um, and one of them has uh, the biker scout where Han's sneaking up behind him by the bunker. Hey! hey! <laughs> Tapping him on the shoulder yep. and running away. <laughs> so, so Fred, I uh, appreciate that. That's, that came from Kubaka. So. Cool. Who has his own, who has his own show too. He does. Yes, he uh, does. Yeah, and he's, so. a, he's a, he's a Twitch guy too. Yeah. And he does a lot of physical stuff. He's got a lot of memorabilia, a lot of toys, a lot of stuff. Good stuff. We have a few things, where, you know, yep. in New York. So. so I guess with that, we will move into what you're watching. Tell me what you're watching on your TV tonight. Tell me what you're streaming on your iPad. Tell me what you're watching every day and at night. I'll be outside watching from the bushes. All right, so what what are you watching, Matt? I am watching, not Hamilton, but we were watching TV last night and she said, we need to watch Hamilton. And I thought to myself, I'm going to hear about this in the morning. But yes, we do. (laughs) So I have been going back through and watching the Mando to get ready for season two. So you didn't watch Hamilton still? (laughs) No. I know. Dude, I wish we had time like that at night. We just don't. We just don't have that kind of time. This is how we look at you now. (laughs) (laughs) Having having not watched Hamilton. It's in black and white. What if we were, what if we, is there a sepia tone? Sepia, you need, a <laughs> need like a sepia. There, there we go. go. That's pretty now close. this is more like Hamilton. We're more of a sepia tone. Yeah. And you know what would be really cool too, is if it had the, um, like that old film effect going through the. Going I have through. that. I have that <laughs> element. I can get that for you. So you could do that with the sepia tone and it would look really cool. Yeah. I, I, got, I put that together for you. That would be take the time to do that. <laughs> I do yeah. have that element, but I. No. But really, I, that's it. Um, that we, I've been watching that, and the wife still hasn't finished it. She likes it, but she's just she's so worried about the child that she can't. Like she got through episode three or four with me, and she's just like, "It's just too intense. I can't. I got to worry. I worry. I'm so worried about the baby. I can't." <laughs> uh, he seems like that's he can it. handle himself, and he's he's yeah. learning the ropes. There's a part yeah, in. Like, fine. There's a part in the trailer where oh shit's clearly about to jump <laughs> off and the baby Yoda, he looks around and then he reaches up and pushes the button on the front of his little egg and it clo- <laughs> he just like ducks down and the egg closes up, you know, like oh, cool. oh, shit's about to go crazy and he fucking pops the, pops the lid on the thing. Yeah. It's awesome. He's like, I'm out. Yeah, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's about to get real. <laughs> I'm going to watch the trailer as soon as we're done. Oh, you should. Wow. It's great. And uh, I guess uh, Sha- uh, Sasha Banks from the wrestling is in there. Oh, cool. She, she well, shows up in a little cameo and everyone's like, oh, my God. Oh, she's, she's Sabine Wren and all this other bullshit, which is not true. And she's not. So. Uh, well, Tron, Tron Solo texted it to me, so I have it. So I'm going to watch it when we're done. Here. Well, you should. It's great. It's, it's, it's a good, good trailer. It doesn't give you anything that you don't want. And, and okay. you know, like we're not stoked enough. We're not stoked enough. I need to see that right now. Cool. So, and coming soon. So, um, well, I've watched a couple of things. One, one I've seen before. First off, Cobra Kai is still badass. Cobra Kai is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, Cobra Kai. you're missing it. You need to get on board. Everybody's talking about it now. It's, 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 it's the hot shit. It's great. Check it out. There's a reason why everybody is talking about it. It's amazing. But I watched, I've, I've been looking for this movie and I haven't been able to find it. And it showed up, I think, on Amazon Prime or possibly it was on Netflix. I can't keep the two straight. Um, called Sa- Safety Not Guaranteed. Hmm. Um, and it's about somebody who claims to be a time traveler and puts an ad in the newspaper looking for somebody to go back in time with. And so this group of reporters, one of which is um, uh, Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Rec. Okay. They go to find this guy to, to to find him and see just because they think it's, it sounds like an interesting story. What what this crazy guy obviously is going to you know be entertaining. Let's find this guy. And so they go to this you know town and, and it's in Washington State. The whole thing takes place in Washington State, and um, 
run this guy down to find out what's the deal. And so Aubrey Plaza is the one that ends up approaching him because she's a great looking woman and everything and ends up, um, you know, falling in with this guy into his, his plan. And I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it, but it's a really interesting movie. It's kind of funny. There's a lot of funny stuff in it. Um, and it was really interesting too. I just was really into it. It's not very long. It's about an hour, 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Um, but really good, really entertaining and, and uh, a fun watch. So highly recommend that. <clears throat> the other thing that I've been watching and I I've seen it a million times, um, but it's always been very difficult to find. I've seen a lot. I've watched a lot of it like on, uh, Daily Motion, which is the fucking worst to watch anything, um, or on YouTube. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a show called Danger Five. Hmm. And the 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 creator of this show. Have you ever seen Italian Spider Man? I have not. It was kind of a viral sensation. You've seen memes from it a million times. There's this one meme for being amazed, where it's this guy in like a 1970s shirt with long hair, and he's going like this. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that I've meme seen a thousand that many times. That's from Italian Spider Man. Oh really? And that that is hilarious. You got to check right. that out. But this All is right. after that was like this big viral hit. They said, "Hey, do you want to do a show?" And it's in Australia. That it was made in Australia, and it is fucking ridiculous. And it's got its own little tropes and and repeat gags that go through. And it takes place in World War Two, and it's like this crack unit and there's like an american and there's an italian woman and there's a uh these the, the british uh man and woman and stuff and they they're this this unlikely group of uh like adventurers that that have to and their their main mission is always kill hitler huh. and at the end of the show every week they always there's there's hitler He's caught. He's out in the open, and they've got a million guns, oh. machine guns and everything, and they all shoot at him, and he runs, and then he jumps out the window, <laughs> right, right through the window. <laughs> and they use the same shot of him jumping through the window every time. <laughs> they reverse it, so sometimes he's running to the right, sometimes he's running to the left. But it's always the same huh. shot of Hitler, and they never get Hitler. Yeah, and then it's, it's just it's fucking bug shit insane. It's got, like, kaiju oh. in it and, um, you know – sex robots you name it it's insane everybody smokes everybody drinks all the time 9 30 in the morning they're getting they're they're drinking, drinking and, and smoking. Um, it's so stupid and one of the the, the main care one of the main characters is uh, i think he's like a french guy and he um he's a bartender he's like the bartender for everybody and in every episode somebody dies <laughs> And as they die, he's always cradling them in their arms as they die, man or woman, old or young. And they always utter with their last breaths a drink recipe. <laughs> and they always, oh, they're the worst sounding drinks you ever fucking heard of in your life. And, and, then, and then they die. And they always, they're always they have just a little blood coming out of their mouth. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. You know, it's, it's a fucking riot. The second season's even crazier because um, it jumps forward. Um, and a lot of the same actors are in it. The one woman from the first season is not in it, but her severed head. Is oh, in, man, that's awesome. Like Ted Williams. The one guy carries her, her severed head around all the time. It's <laughs> it's insane. It's an absolute nice. awesome show. Cannot recommend it more highly. I think it's on Amazon Prime or it might be Netflix. Find mm. it. It's great. So, that is crazy. Good stuff. How about you, Crystal? I watched a lot of random things. Um I finally watched Jojo Rabbit. Ah, okay. I'm putting it off because I know it's... It's, it's... it's not bad. It's, it's really... It's, it's... You remember when we saw Life is Beautiful. Oh, it's, it's not like that. It's not going to hurt me no, like no, that? No, 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 okay. no. Does that no. hurt me? No, it, it, it's, it's not like Life is Beautiful. It's not Schindler's List. It's not like that. Oh, I can't watch it, yeah. But it's, oh. you know... Oh, Schindler's List is hilarious. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> um, but, it it was it was there it was really good and and I always love the movies where the people are doing German accents yeah. <laughs> and they do some really good German accents. Did, were they it. good or just yeah bad? they were good oh, okay. they were good and like Taika Waititi is Hitler like this kid's imaginary friend Hitler and it's it sounds bizarre and insane but it's actually a really sweet movie. Is it funny? There is some funny in it. Because I love Taika Waititi. Although, you know, he doesn't he doesn't he, have to do comedy. I love that um 
uh, the Hunt for the Wilder People. That was not a funny movie, but it was really well done. That that there there is there is some comedy in it, and there's some a little see they're serious in it, obviously because it's World War Two, um, and Germany and whatnot. But it was I I I really enjoyed it, and it's not long. It, it's not a long movie. Mm. So, and 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 I, and I love the people doing German accents. That's all what's it called again? Jojo Rabbit. Okay, I was writing it down. Yeah, Jojo Rabbit. Because notice he didn't write any of my shit down. Because <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> <main character, laughs> the main character. I wrote down Italian like, Spider Man. <laughs> I think he's like a little, like I think he's like twelve or something, like a little twelve-year-old in um, World War Two, and he's he's German, so he's like in the little, you know, their youth thing, and his name's Jojo, and hmm. there's a thing that happens with a rabbit, and so they, you know, tease him and call him Jojo Rabbit. Hmm. Um, so that's where it comes from, but it, it's 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 a really and what's her phrase? Black Widow is his mom, right? Yes, Scarlett Scarlet Johansson? Johansson is his mom. Oh, I'm definitely watching it. <laughs> yeah, and it has um uh, who's who's the German officer guy? Uh, Sam Rockwell. Oh, he's good. He's always in, he's <laughs> he really is good. Very interesting in this. Yeah. He's a lot. He's he has a good German accent. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> he's in it. So I, I enjoyed that. That was the guy that was in the Galaxy Quest that was yes. the, 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 yes. the, the kind of the extra, but yeah. they kind of worked yeah. his way into the main crew. He's really good. He actually does he, a lot of really interesting yes. stuff. This he was is, in that moon as well. Yes, yes. Huh. He, he, he's, he's, he's quite good in this. So I, I'm glad I finally got around to watching that. Um, I'm still up to date on Lovecraft Country. The episode this week was a lot. It was gross. It was probably some of the gross. It might have been one of the grossest things I've seen all year on television. Really, it it really had. There was a lot of just gross horror going on. Not like scary <laughs> or campy. Is it like not not campy? Cards? Just not, not terror cards it, it, horror. It was gross. It was gross. Huh. But but it was good, and it had like a twist, you know, coming yeah. to like what's going on in the show. And I kind of had figured it out. That's where they were going. So I was kind of proud of myself. But I'm not gonna say it and spoil it. Um, I haven't watched any of it yet. You still haven't watched Raised by Wolves? That's true. I do want to see that. That looks super slick, and I it want to watch is it. Yeah, bizarre. It is really a bizarre, very, very sci-fi, very sci-fi. Um, and it's on HBO Max, which <laughs> reminds me of the thing I realized about HBO Max. The what was it like last week? Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is amazing. Okay. So you know, the, we have like HBO Max. And, you know, I thought they call it HBO Max because it's like Max. It's to the know? Max. To the Max. Woo! It's HBO Max. Extra. It's HBO, but to the Max because it's streaming and it's got all the stuff. Wow. But I was today years old when I realized it's HBO Max because it's all of HBO and, and all of Cinemax. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> she told me this and I was like, you are so blonde sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's just, wow, it's like I hadn't put it together. And then the one day I was just like, oh, <laughs> oh no, my friend. <laughs> it's been a mistake, a terrible mistake. I was just like, what? Very cool. That's but, awesome. Um, yeah, so that that's on HBO Max, Raised by Wolves. Um, I did watch the new show that dropped on Netflix. There's only four episodes. It was about the Challenger, mm. the final flight. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, man. It, it yeah. was really good, and you know, they have a lot of footage from back then. And um, I don't think I, I didn't think, I don't think I learned anything that I hadn't already known. Although I, I knew it, to, it was like probably 20 years before you know, I had ever heard that they had actually found their bodies yeah, and, you know, that they were actually buried. Um, but, you know, it was, it was interesting to watch that, you know, and watching parts of it, I was, I was, it kind of would get, get me a little mm. because I remembered, yeah. you know, that going down because I was in seventh grade and there were there was a class that was like in the cafeteria not they were in the cafeteria they were in the library or the class in the library and they they were getting to watch it because it was their science class so they were watching it and then my class was going to lunch so we walked by the library and i can remember seeing it go up you know because we kind of stopped and like looked through the window and we could see it going up 
And then, you know, we go through the hallway and then it was, our school was weird. We had to then walk outside to go get, get to the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So by the time we had reached the cafeteria, it had happened. And like somebody like ran in the cafeteria and was like, oh my gosh, the challenger just blew up. It blew up. And everybody was just like, what? And it was just a lot. So it was, you know, it, it's a good little, it's a, it's a short little series, you know, four, four episodes. Um, and it kind of goes into some of the problems that kind of led to it happening. Yeah. They and couldn't the, have done worse if they tried, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you know they they even talked to I think it was like the daughter of one of the the guys who had, was saying you know this thing is going to blow up this thing is going to go blow up and then it did and he was just crushed because he oh, was sure. telling them but it was it's it's really good it's well worth the time you know if people you know you youngsters out there who weren't around they don't know they don't know it it was it was a lot um, so. That was good. But I like actually, that. that sounds really good. It, it is. It, it's really the, good. And you guys are near, you're sort of near NASA. Um, well, we've gone down. We've, 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 we've gone down and, and seen so many, many so many shuttles um, go. And especially when they were doing the return to flight, yep. when, when that started to happen, that's when we really got into trying to drive down there because being in Jacksonville, like there were several times all we had to do was go outside and you could watch it in the front yard you yeah. could see it going across yep um Sarah, and especially the ones that would go off at night those were fan those were spectacular you could you could totally see because it would be on the horizon you would just see this orange start coming from the horizon and you know we we saw so many yeah, you could like see the flame of the yeah. rocket and everything and then they would go Right in front of the house, they they go yeah. up and then they go right over to the to the side from from right to left, right in front of the house, like just over the tree line. Yeah, cool. that's awesome. Yeah. So one of, the, one of the cool things about my job is I've gotten to go to NASA to, for many launches, um, but to go and actually be there at Mission Control and be in the Vehicle Assembly Building because of Ooh. what we do and what 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 we send them, yeah. um, and especially for a lot of the SpaceX stuff and. Some of the behind the scenes stuff that most people don't get to see is that inside inside mission control and, and where the astronauts get ready or well, especially for the sts missions they have um, big boards like 10 by 10 boards on the in, in the halls they're hung up on the hallways and they did one for every mission and, and it was the astronauts kids and stuff and they would do stickers or cutouts or make drawings and they draw like you know about their dad or their mom you know and wish them well for their for their trip you know to outer space and back it was really cool and the hard ones the hard ones are the ones that didn't come back and they have a very special place where they put those yeah because um one of i think it was a couple of years ago we actually went we all went down with my parents to um the atlantis to see the atlantis exhibit because oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen atlantis go up a bunch of times and my mom and one of my german cousins was here and we actually took and zoe was here already and we actually went and watched the last one go up we saw the last space shuttle go That's up awesome. and we were like across the bay so you know those shots where you see the people standing oh, across the water that was them yeah we that, that was us we, we were there <laughs> it like comes across it's awesome yeah. yeah it was it was it was amazing so yeah. we, we saw yeah, the last yeah. one and you know so i cool. remembered i we kept telling zoe you know and she doesn't remember because she was yeah. little, but we're like you know when they bring this up back we are going to go see it Mm -hmm. And we went and we went and all went to go see it. And, you know, they have like this big presentation. Dude, the, the uh, way where, they do that oh is my gosh, so fucking great. It just Jesus got Christ. all of us. It's I amazing. mean, I could even hear it got my dad. Yeah, it, because, it's Because, you know, they kind of had like this little movie showing, you know, the history of the shuttle and how Ooh. it would go up and all it went into. And, you know, pretending there's a, a launch thing going off. And then there's like this kind of like screen and then this light comes up behind the screen, and there's the freaking shuttle. Yeah, and this, they, the they raise the screen shuttle. up, and it's right there. Because, like, it, it kind of ends on a, a shot. It, it, yeah, it yeah. ends on a shot, and then 
the mm-hmm. screen comes up and it's right there and you're That's just really cool. fucking gobsmacked. It's so oh, goddamn dude. big. It's Holy yeah. fucking shit. It's huge. People don't have any 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 recollection of or they can't they can't wrap their head around the magnitude. Right. Especially yeah, when you, you're, you've you seen it a zillion it. times on TV, but yeah. when you see it in person, you're just like, Holy fucking shit, it's amazing. Oh yeah. And it's all like turned and, and the, the bay doors are open so you can see in into yep. it and stuff. It's yeah, it's really cool. It's a whole. It's a, it's a way, very humble. The way they do the re, the way they do the lead up, and then they drop the reveal. The way I mean, it's like it's it's yeah. orchestrated beautifully, and the the you know, the way the music comes up and everything, and then you see it. Everybody yeah. is just like, holy shit. Well, I mean, it's a it's awesome. a human. You know, it's an achievement of humanity, and that's right. the yes. thing that hits people. Yeah. It's like holy shit. Like we we did that. So. Exactly. Yeah. So it's amazing. If, you, if you're ever you know yeah. if you ever get a in chance, that area go. and can go to <laughs> the cave. Yeah go check out the Atlantis exhibit because also in the same building, they have a bunch of memorabilia um, <laughs> from astronauts and missions. Sure. And they even have like a special memorial section in there where they have like a special section for like each person that was on Challenger yep. and each person that was on the Columbia. And also the three from the Apollo fire, they have like a little mm-hmm. section with some, stuff from them and a little bit about their life and their story and it's it's really nice um yeah, very cool neat so that's a good thing to go see if people can go see things nowadays yeah when we can go do things again <laughs> again but um to bring it back up since that got kind of somber yeah it did, but, um, <laughs> it, it did. But the, the last thing I watched, which is my new favorite thing, actually, that I started watching, is Ewan McGregor has a new motorcycle show. Stop being an idiot. <laughs> Stop being an idiot. <laughs> Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, Obi-Wan on his motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, it's the third show he's actually done like this. And I love the other two, which the first one, um, it was like already like 16 years ago or something. Huh. And it was like him and his best friend... They, on that one, they rode their motorcycles, like, around the world, like, across Europe and China and, you know, Alaska and, you know, America, and that was the long way round. And then a couple years after that, they did the long way down, where they rode motorcycles all the way down Africa, from, like, the top to the bottom. That's a long ride. (laughs) Yeah. And this one is the long way up. And they started (laughs) at the very tip of South America and they're going to go up South America and through Central America and end up in North America in Los Angeles. So there's get out three of here. That's episodes. awesome. They're going to get shot crossing the border at Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> right across the Rio Grande. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pop a wheelie. Which I, I don't know how long ago they filmed this. So like, Sounds like a good show, sure though. they're going to run into like Corona problems. Yeah. yeah, at some point, but there's three episodes. <laughs> Ziggy, <laughs> Ziggy, just he's here. There's three episodes that just dropped on Apple TV, um, and there'll be one, I guess, every week. But it was, it's a lot of interesting fun. And the neat thing this time is they're using electric bikes. So, oh, right. okay. like special. Harley Davidson electric bikes. They're like the first ones they made for them. And then like their support crew, because they have like a support crew that follows them with like equipment and cameras and all that stuff. And they have these huge electric trucks they built. And they were like the first electric trucks um, that got built. Like the one is like, it's VIN number is like number one from this. Pretty neat. Yep. Yep. So, like, the first episodes were, like, them getting ready for it and seeing if these things could actually be built. And yeah. um, it's it's a cool show. Ziggy. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> He's just there over your shoulder. He joined us. Hey, buddy. There he is. Hey, buddy. It's like, what? I'm there like, he is. Space the cat. He's in the show. Okay, well, is that all? Good Lord. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I hardly watched anything this week, two hours later. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Uh, It was a light week of viewing. It was a light week. For the most part. Because there was football to watch. That's true. We had football and we won. 
We did. Philip Rivers Me got sent too. packing. Sorry. <laughs> no kid for you this time, Philip Rivers. You will not have a celebratory kid after this visit to Jacksonville. Yep. So we're, <laughs> so we're, we're, we're one and oh. And Minshew was fantastic. He was. He had great stats. He was fantastic. What, so was, his, what was his quarterback range? Like 125 or something like that? It was more than that. Because he only had one incompletion. He had less incompletions than Tom Brady had oh, interceptions. Oh, too bad, Tom Brady. Mm. Oh, can I get your shit How do you out? like having a real quarterback now, Leonard Fournette? <laughs> oh, oh, in your face. In your face. In your face. In your face. <laughs> he's like, I'm I know. He, he, well, all that movement, he's just hanging on. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going. He's hanging on tighter. I'm not going. There he goes. But, all right, good. guys. Well, thanks again, uh, as always, Mr. Jacobus, for joining us. It's always a pleasure. Lots of fun. Always a pleasure to have you, sir. Thank you, uh, Padme1138, for uh, watching so many shows and, and, and also for nurturing myself and our child. Thank you for your, your nurturing. Okay. You're a nurturer. So, folks, people, if you'd like to reach out to us, um, we have an email. It is... Oh, I need beta testers. Really seriously, if you play oh, yeah. if you play these games and you spend money, uh, we want to talk to you and get you in on this beta. Um, so hit me up at hordecast at gmail .com. Um, You can reach out to us on Twitter, which where it's at hordecast. Um, we're on Ted Salas in the app. If you hear, just reach out to me there. That's fine. And get get you in touch and get you going with this thing. So we'd really love you to join that. I cannot wait to hear what this is. We'll be hearing very soon within the next week or two, probably what this is all going to be and what it's going to be about. And it should be awesome. Cat meets cat in the bloodiest conflagration since the civil war. Going to beat him in the head. Pop, pop, pop. So, and then we'll just look forward to more fun card releases throughout the week. I uh, hope there's black and white. And an absence of color. So that'll be great. Uh, go out on black and white. Yep. And now uh, you can call in with your shout outs or anything you have to say at 904-628-1138. Call before midnight tonight. Nobody is standing by. Or tell by. us which dojo you are. Yeah. Are you Cobra Kai or are you Miyagi-Do? I think Johnny's going to join Miyagi-Do to fight against the Spoilers! newly. Spoilers! Yeah. Spoilers! Oh, oh. I think <laughs> yeah. I think he's going to have to join forces. They've, they've had uneasy alliances a couple of times and then you know, misunderstand and fall away, but I think they're going to end up being friends. I think that's, that's like the best way that could possibly go. I think it'd be really great. And then maybe he'll crane kick somebody. That would be amazing. If he crane kicked <laughs> Mr. Sour that old guy, the guy that smokes a cigar for 20 goddamn seconds. Did I talk about this before? Yes, you did. Motherfucker. Seriously. Finish a goddamn cigar. He's probably been smoking the same cigar for like 20 goddamn years. He smokes it for 20 seconds. <laughs> he's not a good smoker all right well thank you again matt really appreciate you being hey, here. hey thank you guys thank it was a great time everybody have a good week we will we hope <laughs> we hope Arrivederci. all right see ya bye minchu 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 oh. we are legion we are all we are one Watching your